what is your rule for stopping as far as interest rate cuts go? Um, you referred to this as a mid-cycle adjustment. Um, the median dot suggests no more rate cuts. But, you know, if we get continued kind of back and forth between the U.S. and China, um, trade policy uncertainty is going to remain heightened. So, you know, under what circumstances would you say, you know what, I think we've cut enough, we stop now? Um, and secondly, as leader of this institution, um, have you felt a need to, to, to take any steps to boost, like, employee morale um, at a time when the president is constantly criticizing the Fed? Thanks. Um, you know, I, I'd love to be able to articulate a simple, straightforward <coughs> stopping rule, but it's really just going to be uh, when we think we've done enough. And, and, you know, our eyes are open. We're watching the situation. We've cut rates twice. We've moved uh, really through the course of this year, as I discussed. And, um, you know, we see ourselves as, as taking actions to sustain the expansion and, and thereby achieve our goals. Um, and if you, if you look at uh, sort of things that are happening in the economy, I think I personally see a high value in sustaining the expansion because we really are reaching the, 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 this positive economy is reaching communities that haven't been reached in a long time. There'd be great benefit in having that last as long as possible. That's all. So I, I don't have a specific stopping rule for you, but I think we're, we're watching carefully, and there will come a time, I suspect, when we think we've done enough. But th it, there may also come a time when the economy worsens, and, and we, we would then have to cut more aggressively. We don't know. We're going to be watching things carefully. The incoming data and the evolving situation, uh, and th that's what's going to guide our, our um, guide us on that path. In terms of the morale of the institution, I would say it's very high. We're very unified. We feel like we're um, we're doing the best job we can serving the American people. Hi, Chairman. Uh, Hannah Lang with American Banker. Uh, it's been reported that the CFPB is investigating Bank of America for opening unauthorized accounts. I'm wondering if the Fed is also investigating this, and given the pending order against Wells Fargo, if you're concerned that these banks are too big to manage. You know, I, so I saw the headline, like, this morning during all of the preparation and everything, and this morning's meeting. I really don't have anything for you on that. I will say about Wells Fargo that, um, you know, there were quite wide breakdowns in risk management, which resulted in, um, you know, mistreatment of consumers that we know was, was uh, quite harmful to the consumers and to the image of the institution. I have no idea whether that's what happened at, at Bank of America. I really don't know standing here today. Steve, Steve, Steve Beckner, filing for NPR freelance. Uh, the Fed and your fellow central banks have been sort of exploring the far reaches of what's possible for monetary policy, even going so far as to make rates negative in some cases with mixed results. Meanwhile, fiscal and regulatory, not to mention trade policy, are pursuing their own separate courses. Uh, as you and your colleagues do this monetary policy framework review, do you ever consider the limitations of monetary policy? Should you be more explicit about what monetary policy can and cannot do in this environment? You know, we, we try to be clear about that. <clears throat> but really, I think um, our job is to use our tools as best we can to achieve, you know, to do the jobs that <clears throat> Congress has assigned us, which is achieve maximum employment and stable prices. That's our real job. In terms of giving the fiscal authorities, who, by the way, are the ones who created us, um, advice about how to do their job, you know, we, we keep that at a high level, I think. And at a high level, yes, I would say, and I, I've said before, that um, um, it's really fiscal policy that is more powerful and that, that has much more to do with fiscal policy can do those things that will increase the longer run growth weight rate of the United States by improving productivity and labor force participation and the, the skills and aptitudes of workers. All of that comes from the private sector, but also from more of the kinds of things that can be done with fiscal policy. Um, 
we, over the long run, we, we can't really affect the growth rate of the United States. The potential growth rate of the United States is not a function of monetary policy. It's a function of, of other things. So I, um, I try to be clear about that. And um, uh, so, but, uh, but ultimately, fiscal, fiscal authorities will do what they, what they seem appro deem appropriate.